Love is in the air. Yes. Naris, how are you doing? <laughs> Glenna, how are you? Good. You good? Why is it so many of you are crying? <laughs> Obviously, you guys are in love. Sweat. Sweat. Sweat? <laughs> <laughs> can see the way you look at each other. It's amazing. Please keep looking at each other like that all the time, even when you're mad with each other. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> Your best friend cannot be somebody else. So if you had a best friend who was Glenn and Norris, I'm afraid that's no more. Yeah, we just upgraded the relationship. The second thing that is critical, couples who have a long and lasting relationship, they know how to manage conflict. So look beyond the conflict itself and look at the meaning. What is it she's trying to tell you when she's upset? I don't think she's ever upset. Never. <laughs> Not yet. And the same thing for you, Naris. Look beyond the conflict itself and look for the meaning. What is it she's trying to tell you? And if you do that, both of you will be able to resolve that. Also, nurture your dream. Support each other's dream. And by God's grace, 
both of you will be able to live together in harmony, not just for time, but for eternity. Will you, Norris, have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, cherish her in sickness and in health and forsaking all other keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live you do all right lena will you have this man to be your wedded husband to live together after god's ordinance in the only state of matrimony will you love honor and cherish him sickness and in health and forsaking all other keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live you do if i could i swear i'd go back make everything all better the things that you say it's the way that you pray pray on my insecurities i know you're feeling me i know sometimes i do wrong but hear the words of this song when i go i don't stay gone for long i know what's going Mr. and Mrs. McLean, put your hands together. She's now your wife, and he's now your husband. God bless you as you go from this place. so good I thought I would be addressing everybody but I put, put to shame it appears. This time we're going to be calling the groomsmen. First up we have Jamil Sefer. Come on we want to put some energy in the house. Next we have Steven Spinnett. Clear. 
and then you go over the top. The wedding is at the top. You go over the top of the wedding, and then you just scream. Even if you make plans, you never think you're really ready for marriage. No, it's it's like uh, any growth. You're not. You can't be ready for it because that's it's growth. It's going to be new. It's going to be new. You're going to have a new life. You're going to be a new person. your hand over hers now remember this moment and cherish it because this will be the last time you will have the upper hand <laughs> here's to a groom with a bride so fair and here's to a bride with a groom so rare so you might want to take your cameras out and appear to the cake table right here at the front Share all your pictures on Twitter at hashtag NG Presidential Matrimony. It's on the back of your program. Oh, baby, just let my love, let my love adorn you. Hey, baby, you got to know.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, let me thank my man, Norris, my girl, my new girl, Glenna, for making me a part of this awesome journey. From the beginning, when you proposed to G, to now. Thank you. Let me apologize in advance for my slurs. There's been a lot of drinking today. So, Norris and I, we've been friends since 2003. Oakwood Collegiate, grade nine, that's where it all started. It feels like I've known her forever, though. We've watched each other grow. We've helped each other, we've motivated each other to grow to the man that we are now. And I couldn't be more happier on what we've accomplished so far. But Norris is the type of friend that will give his last dollar when you need it. The type of friend that will tell you when you're wrong. And even when you're right. Yeah. Norris is the type of friend that, that listens and he understands. Yeah. Whenever you need a friend, Norris is always there for the clutch. Yeah. Yeah. Hence the name, Clutch. T. Clutch. Growing up, I never understood Norris when it came to girls. Norris used to work at Foot Locker, ladies and gentlemen. And Norris used to have girls throwing themselves at him. They used to throw themselves at him. But Norris never budged. He never budged. I asked Norris, I said, Norris, he was living the ultimate man dream, single man dream, where it was just there for him, but he wasn't budging. I asked Norris, I wanted to know, Norris, what's up, man? How come, what's going on? You don't find these girls interesting? What's going on? He said that how, uh, you remember what you said to me, Clutch? He said that how, I don't trust girls that just throw themselves at me too easy, man. So from there on, I knew that how Norris was looking for a, he was looking for a powerful, strong, strong-minded, independent, goal-achieving, beautiful woman. A beautiful woman like your wife right here today. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as I lift my beer and you lift your glasses, I want to wish Norris and Glenna nothing but happiness. I love both of you guys. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant good evening to everyone. Mr. and Mrs. McLean, I'm going to do something that I never do. I don't sing in public, but I'm proving a point. White is the ocean, high is the heavens above. And I know I'm cracking, but whatever, it's proving a point. Deep, deep as the deepest sea is my Savior's love. I, though so unworthy, still am a child of his care. For his word teaches me that his love reaches me everywhere. Now, I don't even know if my sister remembers. She said, of course I remember. Now that is the song that would put my sister to sleep when no one else could put her to sleep. At 10, 11 years old, we would sit in the single couch by the window at Corvette Avenue and she would lay on my chest and I was the one person who could get her to sleep as a baby with that song. And She's my baby sister. For years and years, I begged my mother for a little sister, and I never got one. My mother migrated to Canada. I think my father spent 30 days here. <laughs> 30 days here. March 26, Andre says, and went back home for six months before he came back up. And on the 26th of December, she was born. So I got a sister when I was 10 and a half. 
But what it meant was that I got a little responsibility as well. Because you know how we do in the West Indies? The eldest daughter take on a lot of responsibility. And it included being a, not just a big sister, but a pseudo mommy to her. When my mom felt like she couldn't talk to her, she would, talk, she would ask me to talk to her. And as many of you know, it's like it was preparation. Because now that our mommy is no longer here, I feel like tonight I speak with two voices. I speak with my voice as a big sister, but I speak with my mother's voice. So I'm going to speak with both voices tonight, and I ask that you indulge me. Glenna, you look absolutely amazing today. Absolutely amazing. And as your big sister, I want to tell you how proud I am of you. You've been a stellar example. You've been the woman that mommy raised us to be. You've overcome adversity. You've stuck to your goals. And I cannot be more proud of you. At this point in time, I come to you now for advice about some things. And that makes me feel good to know that I have a big sister who I can turn to when I sometimes need advice. It's not just one way. And so as a sister, as a big sister, I'm saying I love you. I am proud of you. You have done well. And I know I, I may not tell you all the time, but I hope you feel it. And I'm telling you tonight, you have done well. Yeah. Now I'm speaking for mommy. Girl, me proud of you. Mm -mm. You make me look good. And I'm very proud of the man that you've chosen. Because I always teach you to be independent. And don't make nobody treat you bad. And find somebody who's going to treat you good. So... Daughter, I am proud of you. I am back to my sister's voice where I'm going to say to you that I am happy that you chose to have me stand up with you tonight. Nurse, in my mother voice, welcome to the family. Thank you for being that man that makes her happy. Thank you for being that man that stands by her side and loves Peyton endlessly. I saw my mother look down and smile, so thank you. And I am my mother's child, so I'm going to tell you, just like she would, make sure, say, you find her in a good condition, keep her in even better condition. I love you both, and I believe in both of you. Keep making each other happy. Thank you. Glenna and myself would like to personally thank each and every one of you guys for taking part in this union. We apologize if it was a bit stressful, finding an all-white outfit. We wanted to have our wedding on Labor Day weekend, and we thought we could incorporate that. We love each and every one of you guys. We thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts for being happy for us, and we thank you in advance for the gifts that you've given to us. And um, yeah. Thank you again to everyone for coming out, for showing us support whenever we needed it. If it was just advice or somewhere to stay, we thank you for all of your support and well wishes. We truly feel blessed to have all of you here. You guys look amazing in your white and your black and white. And we thank you again. All of our family and friends, this couldn't have happened without you. So we want to thank our families for all the help they showed us while we were planning this wedding from provinces away. We thank our bridal party. You guys are amazing. You guys kept us entertained. You guys made sure we had nights to remember. We hope you enjoyed your food and that you'll have fun with us for the rest of the evening.
If your shoes are hurt, you'll kick it off. If the skirt too tight, you don't want to kick it off. Just dry it up. Ready, black boys. Ready, black Down when you